I require your attention. Do not tarry. Here. Astute observation, Agent Sean. It is a wonder the SIS could get by without your deductive reasoning. You're a droid that's gotten too big for her own bolts. How's that for an astute observation? Five minutes. Can we please go five minutes without you two at each other's throats? Scorpio, don't be rude. And Theron, you know better than to give in to her taunts. Sorry. Stress got the better of me. Scorpio, show the commander what you found. Please. My analysis of enemy communications obtained by Havoc Squad revealed something interesting. Hidden inside a mundane signal, I discovered an encrypted transmission was codenamed the Gemini Frequency. They are broadcast from the throne to every vessel in the Eternal Fleet. The spire schematics provided by Kaleo confirm this. It's how Arkin commands his warships. This is the break we've been waiting for, a direct line to the enemy fleet. Start a plan of attack. It's Arkin's turn to be on the defensive. Scorpio cross-referenced all the data Havoc Squad and Kaleo stole from Zakul. When we compared the enemy's comm logs to the Spire maps, we found something unexpected. There's a hyperwave relay station hidden 10,000 meters beneath the Spire. It's the only source of Gemini frequency transmissions to and from the Eternal Throne. I thought the Throne controlled the Eternal Fleet. Broadcasting a signal to thousands of ships across the galaxy takes tremendous energy. The relay station's powered by 200 reactors tapping directly into Sekul's planetary core. That relay station is our key to the Gemini frequency. If we can decrypt it, we'll eavesdrop on the enemy and learn his plans. We have a map. All we need is a route. You'll never get near that relay station. It's 10 kilometers underground and defended by more safeguards than we can count. Well, it's a good thing our data reveals every security measure in the way. And how to defeat them. A strike team can disable the defenses right under Arkin's nose, but only if we send it in now. Our intel's turning stale as we speak. Kaleo and Major Jorgen are already on Zakul. They're in position to clear the commander a path directly to the relay station. We are not sending that terrorist. She's done enough to my world. Senya's right. Can't believe I had to say that. Avic Squad was made for this op. We have enough dead night to turn that relay station into a crater. Cut the head off the serpent throw the fleet into chaos. You're trusting the fate of the galaxy to a gang of grenade-happy bucketheads? We're only getting one shot at this. Lucky for you, one shot is all I need. Oh, is that what you tell all your victims? Destroying that relay station is a bonehead play. Send me, and you'll control the Gemini frequency. The idea has potential, and she's an experienced infiltrator who survived on Zakul for years. She bombed my people. Never again. This alliance will never win if we can't function as a team. I need all of you to pull together and do what's necessary. It's not that simple. We need to draw Arkin's attention away from our true goal. That means creating a diversion. They're both accomplished at drawing attention. The real question is, who do you want with you at the relay station? If we can't take control of the Gemini frequency, we'll have to destroy it. Havoc Squad has the firepower for that job. Without me there to slice that relay station, Major Malfunction's suicide run will be a self-fulfilling prophecy. Give me a chance. We need a perfect diversion. And you're the best around. Just keep it clean. No civilians, got it? What about pets? Kidding. See you at the rendezvous, Commander. 
If Kaleo's idea of a distraction results in harm to my people, I'll kill her myself. And I'll help. You can't please everyone. But it may be prudent to consult Valkorion. He built the spire. He may tell you how to invade it. next time. Valkorion, we need to talk. Jedi and their consultations. In too many ways, you remain bound to that order. You took my power, and now come for my secrets. But you have not earned them. You always knew what controlled the Eternal Fleet. You should have told me. I am not your servant. And you have trifled with my patience for the last time. Come in. Something happened. I need your help. Your friends cannot hear you. You brought me here. Why? Sometimes, evolution requires a push. Or a sacrifice. You have forgotten what it means to face death alone. I will remind you. Oh. 
A path has been laid before you, but you refuse to tread upon it. That will change. Can you sense the predators closing in? Hmm. They smell your weakness. They would feast on it. of being disappointed by your lack of progress. The galaxy is finally united under a single banner. It should have been yours. My son struck a killing blow against you. Had I not interfered, you would be dead. Perhaps I should have let you go then. Despite your precious warship, a legion of allies, and my immense power at your disposal, you remain incomplete. The Force is with you, Jedi, but it will not defeat my son. It never could. Until you embrace your full potential, you will only be a pawn of fate, never its master. If you have all the answers, let's hear them. Start with why you let your son betray you. 
Arkhan saw what he wanted and claimed it. What is your excuse for failing to do the same? The future is not a river to carry us. It is the ocean in which we drown if we are not prepared. You have two destinies, Outlander. In one, you defeat Arkhan, claim the Eternal Throne, and remake the galaxy. In the other, you die alone, unmourned and forgotten. I brought you here to taste that defeat. idea what I'm capable of. And neither do you. Therein lies the problem. This was a fraction of the pain my children can inflict. If you do not finish your training, become something greater, you will feel the full weight of their rage. You act like I didn't leave Tython as a fully trained Jedi. You do not perceive the path ahead, even when it is obvious. Let that be your first lesson. I cannot stay to protect you any longer. There are matters to which I must attend. But I will leave you with a final token of my favor. Fulfill your destiny, and I promise to return. You can exist outside my head? Where are you going, and why? It is pointless to explain. You will understand when the time comes. Cheer up, big brother. You're making me sad. Father won't face me himself. He's punishing you for stealing his chair. He isn't angry. Father never feels anything. Not even when I... When Vexen died. He was a good brother. Brought me gifts from all the worlds he conquered. I freed you from father's control. I hope that earned your support. My loyalties lie here, Arkan. Always.
Now what? For millennia, Jedi and Sith archived their knowledge in holocrons. These legacies preserved the wisdom of great minds. The focus was often on exploring mysteries of the Force, not the practical matters of government. After all, Jedi do not seek to lead, and it is in the nature of Sith to force their wills upon others. But a few sought to understand what it truly means to lead a civilization. These are their teachings. I've waited for you a long time.
Welcome to my home, Outlander. Jedi Master Satil Shan. When Valkorion told me to finish my training, he met with you? You're asking the wrong person. Yes, I'm going to offer a meal. Stop rushing me. You survived an ordeal. Come. Sit. There's food. I was brought here against my will. People are counting on me for help. I have to go. People are always counting on you. They won't stop just because you aren't there. Many things changed while you slept in Carbonite. I led the fight to save the Republic from Zakul. Nothing prepared me to face that enemy. I failed. Again. And again. This camp isn't new. You've been on Odessan for a while. When the Republic surrendered to Arkan, I gave myself to the will of the Force. I left the Core Worlds and found this planet. We've been here for years, waiting. We? Is there someone else here? In the Force, we are never alone. We sensed your awakening on Zakul. Felt the presence of our old enemy guiding you. We witnessed the victories and defeats leading you here. When we found you in that clearing, we faced a choice. Bring you here. Or end you there. That's a little dark for a Jedi. I assume your training stopped you from killing me. We felt something we'd lost for a long time. Hope. Valkorion strengthened your bond to the Force. You may be the greatest of us all, but your old training couldn't prepare you for what's to come. You have much to learn. Follow us. Seek the answers throughout the valley. You will know when you find them.